When preparing project schedule using Microsoft Excel, you should ensure to exclude the holidays and the weekends from your schedule. Otherwise, your project's planning might go into vain. In order to ensure the accuracy in your project schedule and to prepare the right project plans, you should exclude your non-working days, which might be the holidays or maybe the weekends. In today's video, we will focus on this specific topic in Microsoft Excel. On the left here, we have the project's details, while on the right, we have the project's Gantt chart. The dates highlighted in gray are either the weekends or holidays. In the holidays sheet, I have a list of holidays which will come throughout this project's life cycle. So they should be excluded from the project's working days in order to have the right amount of estimation for the duration of the project, the start and end dates of the project, so that we can assign resources as required for the project. Again, we will not discuss the Gantt chart in here. There are videos available in the Microsoft Excel playlist of this YouTube channel to which I will leave the link in the description of this video. If you are interested, you can go and watch those videos to learn how to prepare such Gantt charts. In this video, we will mainly focus on the working days in this week and the non-working days. For example, if you see, the start date for activity number 1 is 19th of July 2022 and the end date is 25th of July 2022. Since the day of the start date will be included in the duration of the project, so this difference will be 7 days, while in here it shows 5 days. The 2 days, which are Thursday, which is a holiday in here, and the Friday are non-working days. So they are excluded from the project's working time. And as you can see the Gantt chart in here, we have two days off and two working days before the holiday and three working days after the weekend. I have assumed Friday as the weekend for this project schedule. Same applies for the other activities. So let's get started and let me show you how to exclude the non-working days and weekends from your project's working days. Assume that the start date for activity number one is today's date, which is 19th of July 2020. So I'll write down 19th of July 2022 and the end date for this activity is 22nd of July 2022 so I'll write down 22nd of July 2022 for the number of working days we will use the network days function so I'll write down equal sign network days there are two functions proposed by Microsoft Excel to you in here. One is the network days, another is the network days dot intl. In the network days, you can only exclude the holidays from your project schedule. While in the network days dot intl, you can exclude the holidays plus the weekends. So I'll use the network days dot intl function. I'll write down intl. In here, I'll open parenthesis, the start date will be this date, comma, the end date will be this cell, which is D8, so I'll write down D8, comma, the weekends, as you can see in here, a number of options are given to you as the weekend, the Saturday and Sunday, Sunday and Monday, and so on. I'll use only Fridays as my weekend, so I'll write down 16 and comma, for the holidays, I will select the values in these cells. And I'll close the parenthesis and press enter. So if I'm planning to start this activity on this date and finish it on this date, I have only two working days available to get the activity done. For the working hours, since we have eight hours on each working day, so I'll write down eight times this cell. So the total working hours available for this activity is 16 working hours. I'll drag this formula up to the last activity and drag this formula up to the last activity as well. So in here, I'll write down the start date as this date plus one day. So I'll write down equal sign this date plus one. And the end date for this activity should be, for example, 28th of July. So I'll write down seven 28 2022 as you can see I have only five working days available to get this activity done 
We can carry on doing the same for other activities as well. For this activity, the start date could be one day before this activity ends. So I'll write down equal sign this date minus one day. And the end date for this activity is 31st of July. So I'll write down 7 31 2022. The Gantt chart will be inserted into here. The total number of working days and the total working hours will be calculated automatically. I hope you have liked the content of the video. If you enjoy our content and want to see more, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Besides that, we post about project management on our LinkedIn and Instagram pages as well. You can follow us there too. Thank you very much for watching.